So hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and today you guys, we have a first impressions, full face of brand new makeup that we're doing okay y'all we got a lot of new products so hopefully you guys are interested in that type of video oh and we got our first sponsorship don't forget to like comment and subscribe click that notification bell set it to all comment down below right now hashtag notification on point so that you will be featured in the next video as the top three comments let's jump on in all right y'all let's get into this look baby y'all know i don't know what i'm going for i just go with the flow as i said in the beginning in the intro you guys we got ooh, a lot of newer products now last time that i did one of these videos i forgot some products so i kind of want to lay the products out yeah, it's the new year. It is the new year. Ah, oh, the new year is starting off really good because today we got our first sponsorship. <laughs> Go ahead and clap it up for you, girl. It's all because of you guys and the hard work that I've been putting into since the end of last year. Gosh, y'all, we have a sponsorship. Sponsorship today is going to be Make Nine. Make Nine is a Korean cosmetics company that reached out to me and wanted me to try out their products. So we're going to be using the Make Nine Focus on Green Collagen Eye Patches. <laughs> Y'all know your girl love eye patches, right? And then we're going to be using the Make Nine Focus on Hydration Peptide Cream. It's a moisturizer. Y'all know how this about to go. Thank you, Make Nine, for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys, these are the first two things we're going to use on today's face. Yeah. You can find Make Nine Cosmetics down below in the description box. If there's a coupon code or anything, all of the details will be down below. So please, please, please go check them out. Let them know a Marie Beauty sent y'all over, okay? We're going to start with the Make Nine eye patches. So once again, this is skin. This is a skin firm with tripeptide. Boost the skin with hibiscus ash extract. Y'all, uh, let me tell y'all, they put a lot of them. It says 60 eye patches in here. It's a lot, you guys. So they're going to last you a good minute. They give you the little scooper so that you won't touch the eye patches with your fingers. Look how juicy. Now, And we're gonna rest these on our eyes. And I probably just put that on backwards. Y'all, do they go like this? The skinnier side here. And I picked up more than one on this one. <laughs> so, because they're sliding, I'm gonna let these sit for a minute and then I'm gonna come back to you guys when it's time to take them off just so that they can actually sit where they're supposed to and do their thing. Hey, Bigsby, set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes and counting on your timer. All right, you guys, we have five minutes left on the eye patches. And so far, you guys, I love the tingling that it gives underneath the eyes. It's not a burning it's a tingle and it feels so good. It's not something that you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to take this off. No. So while we wait another five minutes, we're gonna go ahead and do our brows before moving on to the Make Nine Moisturizer. Um, we're gonna use the Tristique Brow Pencil and Brow Gel and this is in the shade Espresso. And I love this company, this brand. 
So we're going to try it. The brow gel is on the bottom if you guys remember when the BoxyCharm unboxing. So we're going to try this out. Y'all know the triangle is not like my cup of tea, but we're going to try it anyway. And I am going to kind of like fast forward through this part because, because if you guys want to see my eyebrow tutorial, I have a couple of them on, on my channel from years prior. You know what I mean? So we're just going to test this out and see if it gives us what we're looking for. to say I'm not impressed by it. It's nothing like I gotta keep using. Nah. But we are gonna go in with the brow setting side. Hopefully oh no this is a little too light. I thought it would tint up the brows a little bit but this is a little too light. But we're gonna work with it for this video. Sorry you guys about the background noise if it's in here when I go to edit trust and believe I would try to drown it out or put music over it but you guys know I live in my I live in an apartment complex I'm downstairs and my filming setup is in the garage so I have to work around with everybody else that lives around here and right now they're right outside my garage so I do apologize uh oh you guys that's the timer, baby. Ooh. Can you see a difference? Can you tell? Do I look brand new? Oh, girl. Do I look awake? Whew. A lot has been going on. Your girl has been losing a lot of sleep. It's been a lot going on in our family, in our lives. So, I really, really, really needed those feels so good so we're gonna move on to the make nine hydration peptide cream now this cream this cream claims to moisturize and nourish build up your skin firm with peptide nourish and moisture it's supposed to nourish and moisturize you and build up your skin firmness smells like cotton or mm, smells like cotton or baby powder like a very light smell so i just dabbed a little bit and we're gonna moisturize it says take the amount that you would like and just moisture oh my god this feels so soft oh Oh, my hands are so soft and velvety. This cream feels very, very soft and velvety. Ooh. I'm in love. Make sure you guys check out Make Nine Cosmetics down below in the description. Thank you so much, Make Nine, for sponsoring this portion of the video. All right, you guys, we're going to move over to this Glam Glow Primer. This is the Glam Glow Super Mattifying Clarifying Primer. All day oil controls smooth and minimizes pores. So you guys, we did get this in a boxy charm. So we're gonna oh, we're gonna try this out. It has a little scooper. I'm a little bit terrified. Look at that color. Hopefully this does well. Oh, it's so easy to scoop. I thought it was gonna be like really really tough i don't know how much to put on so i'm gonna do like this all right it has like a clay smell oh wow okay it does smooth it has a clay smell not the best smelling and it paired really well with the make nine moisturizer can you tell it's not flaking up or anything it's looking pretty good 
All right, we got to move on to this concealer. Now, this is nothing new. This is just like one of those oldie but goodies that I remember having back in my collection a long time ago. So I did pick this up. This is the Maybelline Makeup Eraser Concealer. No, Instant Age Rewind eraser concealer and this is in the shade caramel so i remember this concealer having like a tingly feeling as well like the make nine eye patches so i want to use it to clean up the brows and we're going to use it later on for concealer all over the face there she goes i am going to take my acid rain brush that my twin gave me she bought me these brush sets a while back and we're gonna be using one of the palettes that she bought me as well. All right, I could say that these brows cleaned up really, really good. I'm still not a big fan of the Strastique brow pencil and gel, but these cleaned up pretty nice. So I do want to move on to my Laura Mercier translucent powder in medium deep. You guys, I remember back in the day, I was watching a lot of my older videos and I remember I used to do the Jackie Anna method where you put on your primer and then set it and then go in with foundation and stuff. So. I want to go back to that and see if I miss it, loved it, didn't like it, or what it was. When I looked at a lot of my older videos where I used to do this, my foundation and stuff was flawless. So, I want to do it again and see if I like it. So, I did use this um, new lip balm. This is the Bali Balm Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. I used this at the beginning of the video. Um, well, before the video started. It's just a lip balm. It's really minty. It says orange and coconut. It smells like minty coconut, honestly. And it also has a minty feel to the lips as well. We're going to move on to the eyes. And we're going to use this JCAT Beauty Sunset Boulevard 24 eyeshadow palette. My twin gifted this to me. I will have that um, twin swap video linked on my channel. But she got me, she bought me this last year or the year before. No, last year. And I have yet to use it and I want to use it. And you know what? I kind of want to use one of my P. Louise bases too. I think we're going to go with number six. And we're just going to put a little bit of that on our eyelid as well, too. We're going to take a little bit of the Laura Mercier and set it a little bit. Not too much, but give it a little set. I just took whatever touched the lid. I am going to take the Morphe M533 blending brush. And I think I'm just going to tap into this shape right here first. Just to have something to lay on. It's closer to my skin tone, so. I don't know if I wanna do like a halo or cut crease today, but I don't want it to be too simple. All right, so you guys, I decided to put a little tape because I kind of want this look to be a sharp look because I kind of want to do a thick wing line. So I am going to go with that same brush and tap into this darker brown. And I want to kind of place it right here in the socket of my eye. And I got my head a little bit tilted back so that I could actually see the socket of my eye and keeping that brush right in there. You guys, Prada is getting so smart. He comes in and out the garage and I don't keep the door open, but I don't shut it all the way so he knows how to get in and out now. Normally I would have to get up and let him out. 
So how is your new year treating you? Let me know. What are you guys doing? Did y'all set any goals, resolutions, or anything? Let us know down in the comment section, like, what's going on with you guys? Is the new year pretty good? Is it starting off slow? I am using my Sephora color switch pad to dust off that dark color because I'm going to go in with a little bit of that first shade and kind of blend out the edges right here. So now I don't know what color I want to go into. There's like almost no deeper shade besides this purpley brown. And I don't know if I want to go there yet. All right, you guys, I am going to take my Durham makeup brush. I got these off of Amazon. If I can find them, I will link them. So check down below in my Amazon storefront. Click the link and it'll take you right to it if I can find it. But I think I'm going to take this lighter shade right here. It's like a champagne-y gold-ish color. And I don't know if I need to use spray or anything with them but i want to go ahead and try to put it right here oh that's kind of simple i'm gonna keep it light like this and i'm not gonna take it all the way to the end because I kind of want to mix. I have to find me a black shadow to kind of blend the two. I'm making it a little heavy on the inner portion so that it could act as the inner tear duct highlight. Okay, so let's try the Just Peachy palette and let's try this deeper brown right here and see if that gives me the deepness I need. So I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe brush and kind of, oh yeah, place it and blend it just right there at the end and marry it with that shimmer. And we are going to move on into our KVD tattoo liner. This is a felt tip, and y'all know how I feel about the felt tips, but we're gonna try it. I gotta hold my breath, you guys. I got you. Okay, you guys, my camera cut off, but baby boy wants to ask something. This is for y'all and my mom. Is this a real coin? No. It's not real? No. Oh, that's it. <laughs> You gotta have to cut that out. Let's see if your fans know. Okay. That look cute. Thank you. You put a heart on your face? Nah. That's oh. just to help me do this wing. Oh. <laughs> Fly away. Can you guys answer my baby down below in the comment section? Y'all hear him. Like, comment, subscribe. I like this one better than the older packaging. This one is still a felt tip, but it's almost like a brush. And it goes into this like angle. So I like this one better than I like the um, first tattoo liner that I had from KVD. All right, you guys, we had to abort, abort, abort on that Fenty foundation. Thinking of that Fenty foundation when I was going to my Project Pan foundation, I realized I didn't announce my giveaway winner from one of my biggest BoxyCharms unboxings. I did do a giveaway in that video and I want you guys to know that the winner of my BoxyCharm is going to be my loyal, faithful, never let me down comments on every video ever since she found my channel and it's Melinda so congratulations Melinda I will be sending you over the box of goodies you guys I will be doing more giveaways as the year goes on but it is very important for you guys to always comment interact with me and all that linda has won many giveaways from me so you guys better catch up because melinda is getting everything let's go into our project pan 
um, foundation, I had to abort that Fenty. Um, I think I will be selling the Fenty on my Poshmark. So if you guys want it, y'all can have it. I'm gonna go in with the Circa foundation. And this is the Color Balance foundation in the shade 10. If you guys haven't seen my Project Pan lineup for this year, y'all better go get on it. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah. If you guys are looking for any kind of bracelets like this, my aunt sells paparazzi, and that's where I get it from. I love these bangles, and her paparazzi link is always down there. Y'all know my cosmetic jewelry comes from paparazzi, a lot of it. So if you guys want any of those type of bracelets, I always get the spiritual ones from her. So I advise y'all to go check out my aunt. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more. Peyton Charles on YouTube turned me on to the spiritual bracelets. She does get hers from another place. I think it's called Zootopia on Instagram, but they are on the more expensive side. But if you guys do want some of those bracelets, paparazzi, my aunt does sell them. Y'all could go and support her. Please, 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 I would appreciate it. These type of videos are on the longer end. I hope you guys watch them all and all the way through and watch all the ads because that's how your girl gets paid. I would really appreciate it. So I am going in with the Maybelline eraser. Oh my God, my skin looks flawless. Ooh, there goes that tingly feeling. Just like the Make Nine. Oh, I think that's some type of ingredients in there that get your blood flowing or something because it feels so good. I am gonna let under the eye sit for a minute. Oh my goodness. Look how that is. Oh, look how that is blended out like a dream. Baby in the under eyes from that Make Nine. Oh, baby girl. She's looking beautiful and flawless. All right, so we're going to move on into the Too Faced Translucent Born This Way Translucent. Um, I remember I used to not like this powder because of this pop-up. Because I can't really, like, get product out. But I'm going to do it this way and see Another thing, I have powder left over. I can't flip it over. Another oldie but a goodie was this Revlon Nearly Naked in the shade Deep. Back in the day, I used like two of these. So, and this one was in my backup drawer. And I was like, you know what? I used to love this. Let me try it. Let me try it again. I am, however, I need a big brush. Let's use our Joa Beauty. Yep, our Joa Beauty large brush. It's the powder brush. And if you guys haven't been following me for a while, or if you're new here, y'all know I call out the brushes I use in my videos because I take a lot of time to do the description box and give you guys all of the products. And you only have so much room the description box is like 5,000 letters or words. And instead of using up all that space with all of the brushes, I'll just leave that space for the list of products I use. And with the brushes, I call them out in the video so that you guys, if y'all are interested, y'all could go look them up. The Sephora CEO and Lily Lashes, I got this a while a while ago um, I'm gonna see if Jet Setter this contour right here I'm gonna see if that works and I am going to use my Morphe E4 brush it's a contour oh 
it has a lot of fallout. It's the contour brush, so it look kind of pigmented. Bronze up our skin real quick. I don't contour a lot no more, but I still love to bronze up my skin. And brush it upward. I don't think I used this palette at all, and I think I bought this palette like two years ago. Did you not? So I am gonna switch over to this AOA High Definition Brush E109. I use this to contour my nose, all because it has that angle, and it's really small to get right off where I want it. And I am gonna knock it off. It's not gonna be this strong, you guys. We do have the blush, the Ofra blush. This one is in Chameleon. I had this in a boxy charm too and haven't used it yet. And I think I haven't used it because it's like this single pan. Let's get this other angle brush from Beauty of Jewels Cosmetics. I know she's a small black owned business. I don't know if she still has these blush brushes anymore. Oh my God but I will link it if she does. This blush has a lot of fallout. Oh, it looks like it could go ashy really fast. <laughs> if you have skin tone like me, you don't want to use too much because it looks like it could go ashy real fast on my skin tone. But with the amount that I applied, it's very pretty. Um, I am going to put this NYX jumbo pencil. Do you guys remember that? NYX jumbo pencils. Okay, I'm gonna use, this is cashmere. I'm gonna use it to line my waterline. Gonna run it right there. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Shader brush. This is Best Top Shader Brush. I got these off of Amazon as well. I will link them in my Amazon storefront if they're still available on Amazon. So I'm going to take that brown and we're going to just place it kind of close to our waterline like that and then just start kind of smoking it. We're going to go in with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Matte Setting Spray. This is a 12 hour wear and oil control and it supposedly minimizes pores. Let's give it a shot. So now we're going to go in with the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and we're going to hit the top and bottom. Do we want to go with the Dose of Color and Alexia's Beauty? Or do we want to go with Halt Laboratory and Bite Beauty? I'm going with this palette because I have to put on some highlighter. So we're going to go in with the shade Famous. It's a gold highlighter. Um, we're going to use the brush Do Care. This is a highlighter brush. This is the dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hill highlighter brush. Learned it from Juicy Jazz here on YouTube, and these brushes are from Amazon. Don't judge mine. It's, don't judge it. And I kind of want to keep it high. You see how high I am? I am going to take a pencil brush. Girl, what is she doing? This is a no-name brush. It's very flat and short. I'm going to take it on the tip. and put it down the center of my nose. I am gonna take just a little bit and put it right there on my brow bone. So I think I'm gonna take 
my old style Bora Bora. These were my destination lashes. Look on my website. You guys know I've been doing a blowout sale since we closed. Look on the website and see if we still got them, girl. We're going to use the Kiss Lash Glue Liner to apply our lashes. When I did the first impressions with this, you guys. She love. And they do have a black one as well. And you can use this um, for wing liner as well as eyelash glue. But I like the clear one. Drum roll, please. <laughs> you guys, we're going to do the dose of color. <laughs> we're going to do the dose of color lips. Now, the thing that I see with this, it's not pigmented. Like, I could still see my skin through this. And you see how, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it literally is a hot pink undertone first. And then this fiery red color. But this is the finished look, you guys. Let me catch you guys in the outro, because, baby, she's looking half-ass put together. Okay? So, let me catch you guys in the outro. So, here you have it, you guys. This is the completed look. Her baby girl look put together, right? She cleaned up nicely. Um, if you guys want to see the review to this hair, then just hit the subscribe button and turn your post notification to all because y'all don't want to miss it. I don't know if it's going to come up before this video or after. So you have to be on the lookout. If you recreate this look, please, please, please tag me on Instagram at A Marie Beauty. Tag your girl. I want to see them. I want to see the looks. I think this look came together very, very well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, it was such a long video. Sorry, but not sorry. I wanted to bring this to you guys. So don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, hit that notification, set it to all, and give this video a thumbs up. I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces. Yeah.